All right, thanks, guys. We once again improved to 13-3 and three in our last 16 NBA tier package plays on Patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also 6-1 and one in our last seven board member tier package plays on that website. We do daily premium sports picks on that site beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. And once again, uh, we have a uh, board member tier package play going off today where we are 6-1 and one in our last seven board member tier package plays on that website. We're currently over 1,100 members strong on that page. Uh, a lot of people joined, a lot of people, uh, a lot of members on that site. So if you want to join or if you're just kind of curious and want to check it out, my current Patreon record, it's right on the homepage. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into our NBA slate here today. We have a ton of games, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with the Bulls taking on the Nets, 3 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Brooklyn. The Nets are the six-point favorite at home, total at 221. Now, we're seeing money on Chicago in the over in this one, a one-point fade of Brooklyn and a two-point move upward on that total. The Nets open as the seven-point favorite down to minus six. Total open 219 up to 221. Right now, Chicago is plus 205 on the money line. Now, if you like the Bulls in this matchup here, just keep in mind Zach Levine and uh, Ryan Archidiakono, uh, they are both questionable for tonight's action. Chicago just 8-22 and straight up on the road this year, 3-6 and against the spread in their last nine. The Bulls rank in the bottom 10 in scoring on average per game, bottom three in offensive rebounding. They're currently in 11th place in the Eastern Conference, 21 games under 500. And they are seven games back of Orlando for that eighth seed. Now, a couple more things to add about Chicago. They're in the bottom five in defensive field goal percentage. Bottom three, uh, bottom three in road offensive rebounding. Now, Brooklyn on the other side, winners of two out of their last three. They've also gone three and one against the spread in their last four. The Nets rank in the top three in the NBA in offensive rebounding on average per game. Top five in defensive field goal percentage. Spencer Dinwiddie, 21 points, four rebounds, seven assists. Karis LeVert, 18-4-4, and, and Joe Harris, 14-4-2. Brooklyn, top three in road offensive rebounding, top 10 in road defensive field goal percentage. Three out of Brooklyn's last four got over the total. The Russell was 6-3 to the over in their last nine. Chicago on the other side, 4-2 to the over in their last six. I'm going to lean Brooklyn minus six in the over, 221 in that game. All right, next game, game of the day here. We're talking about Lakers, Clippers, 330 Staples Center. The Clippers are minus 2.5, total 225 and a hook. We are seeing money on the Clippers and the over in this one. They open as the two-point favorite, up to minus 2.5. Total open 225, up to 225 and a hook. And right now, the Lakers are plus a buck and a quarter on the money line. Now, the Lakers do rank in the bottom three in free throw percentage. They also failed to cover the number in their first two meetings with the Clippers. And speaking of the Clippers, they are 67% against the spread in their games that tipped off at the current number. They're also ranking in the top five in scoring on average per game, top three in offensive rebounding. Clippers currently second place in the West, and they are 24 games over 500, and currently in the middle of a six-game winning streak. Kawhi Leonard, 27 points a game, eight rebounds, five assists, and two steals. Paul George, 21 a game, six rebounds, four assists. And Montrez Harrell, 17, uh, I'm sorry, 19 points a game, seven rebounds for him. The Lakers, top three in defensive field goal percentage, top five in home scoring. Now, total-wise, four out of the Clippers' last six did stay under the total. They're also 70% to the under in their last 10. Meanwhile, the Lakers on the other side, four and two to the under in their last six themselves. I'm going to lean Clippers minus two and a half and the under 225 and a half in that contest. Next game, Pels, T-Wolves, 330 Minnesota. The Pelicans are minus seven on the road, total 247. Really high total there. We are uh, seeing money on the Pelicans and the over in this one. Pelicans open six, up to minus seven. Total open 246, up to 247. Minnesota's plus 235 on the money line. They've also been victorious in two out of their last three. They went two and one against the number in those three games as well. Minnesota ranks in the top 10 in scoring on average per game, top 10 in home offensive rebounding. The Pelicans on the other side, a little bit different story. Losers of three out of their last four. They also went just two and four against the spread in their last six. 
New Orleans ranks in the bottom three in offensive free throw percentage, bottom five in points allowed. They're currently tied for 10th place in the Western Conference at nine games under 500. Now, total-wise, New Orleans 3-1 to the over in their last four. Minnesota 7-2 to the over in their last nine. I'm going to lean Minnesota plus seven in the over 247 in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Sunday's NBA action. Happy Sunday to you. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Now, before we go ahead and move on, I just got to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page. Once again, we improved to 13-3 and in our last 16 NBA tier package plays yesterday. We're also 6-1 and in our last seven board member tier package plays as well. We do daily premium sports picks on that website beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. We'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month going forward. Now, we did go 2-2 two and two yesterday in our four premium picks, but we did, like I said, improve to 13-3 and three in our last 16 NBA tier package plays on that site. We're currently over 1,100 members strong on that site as well. A lot of people uh, involved with that site. Now, you might be wondering, you know, why would I subscribe to Patreon when I get all the picks here for free on YouTube, and that's certainly a great thought, a great consideration, and you're right. I give you all the picks for free here on YouTube, but the problem with that is if you're going to bet every single game on the board side in total with your hard-earned money, you are guaranteeing yourself failure. It's just not a winning formula for success. The more games you have in action like that, especially the entire slate, the more aggressive the math becomes you know, against you. And the books are way too smart. They're way too sharp. And they have way too much money to absorb that action. And unfortunately, you don't. So what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you. I focus in and dial it down to just four to five premium picks per day. They're high percentage picks, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my current Patreon record is a whole lot better than it is here on YouTube. You know, handicapping every single game on the board side in total. So if you guys want to check that out, once again, link for that site is in the description section below. Once again, that is Patreon dot com slash Brock page all right guys we have many more games to uh cover here so uh let me just go ahead and plug in my mic because this is the second day in a row that i forgot to plug in my microphone for one of my uploads so i'm going to take this cord and plug it in right here readjust the uh camera all right one take, that's all we do. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our next matchup. It is going to be, uh, what do we have here? Thunder taking on the Celtics. And that will be a 6 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Beantown. Boston's laying 3.5 at home, total 219. Now, we are seeing money on Oklahoma City and the over in this one. As a matter of fact, we saw a one-point fade of Boston in the early wagering at home, we did see a one-point move upward on the total as well. The Celtics open 4.5 down to minus 3.5. Total open 218 up to 219. Right now, OKC is uh, catching 58% of the consensus. So once again, 58% of the consensus are leaning toward OKC. 72% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Thunder are plus 150 on the money line. Now, if you like OKC in this matchup here, they've been excellent against the number on the road this year. 22-8 and eight against the spread when they travel. 19-11 and 11 straight up in that same category. They're good just in real life on the road as well. OKC, top five in offensive field goal percentage, top 10 in points allowed, winners of seven out of their last nine. Now, OKC does rank in the top five in road points allowed as well. Top 10 in defending the three ball. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 19 points a game, six rebounds, three assists. Danilo Gallinari, 19, 6, and 2. Dennis Schroeder, 19 points a game, four boards, four assists for him. Boston on the other side, losers of three out of their last four. They also went just one and three against the spread in those four games. The Celtics ranked 17th in home offensive rebounding, and they did fail to cover the number in their last matchup with OKC. Now Boston is three and two to the under in their last five. OKC 3-2 and two to the under in their last five themselves. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me OKC plus 3.5 and, and the under 219 in that game. Next matchup, Bucks taking on the Suns. 6 o'clock Eastern tip-off in the desert. 
The Bucks are laying seven on the road total at 227 and a hook. We are seeing money on Milwaukee and the under in this one. A one-point move toward the Bucks and movement downward on that total. The Bucks open six up to minus seven. Total open 229 down to 227 and a hook. And right now the Suns are plus 240 on the money line. Phoenix, losers of four out of their last five. They also went just three and seven against the spread in their last ten. Aiton and Johnson are out. Kaminsky and Oubre still out indefinitely. Phoenix, bottom 10 in offensive rebounding, bottom 10 in defensive field goal percentage. They're just 12 and 22 straight up at home, 12 and 22 against the spread in that same category. One more thing to add about the Suns, they rank in the bottom 10 in home offensive rebounding. The Bucks on the other side, they are first in scoring, first in offensive rebounding, first in defensive field goal percentage. Now keep in mind, George Hill and Giannis Anatokounmpo, uh, Giannis Anatokounmpo, uh, they are listed as questionable for tonight's action. But having said that, Chris Middleton, 21 a game, six rebounds, four assists. Eric Bledsoe, 15, five, and five. And Brooke Lopez, 11 points a game, five rebounds, three blocks. Now the Bucks are 6-0 and to the under in their last six. I'm going to lean Milwaukee minus seven and the under 227.5 in that contest. Next game.